Hi, do you want to introduce yourself? Hey, my name is Kanaya Mitchell. I'm a One Go Fellow. I'm a graduate from Thero High School in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'll be attending Claflin University this fall. Thank you. Um, so just wanted to start by just talking a little bit about a best fit list and why it's important to create one. So why do you think it's important to create a best fit list of post-secondary programs? It's important to create a best fit list because it basically keeps you on track of what school, what schools you're actually looking for and what schools that actually appeal to you because it's easy to get thrown off track. It's easy to get thrown off track with other schools. Just make sure that this school matches what you're looking for. Yeah, that's great. When you made your best fit list, um, when you started your senior year, what kinds of criteria did you use to determine which schools were on your list? Um, I made sure that the schools offered my major, which is mass communications. I made sure that they weren't too far from home because I was, I didn't want to go too far, but then again, I didn't want to be too close. So I made sure location was a big, uh, made sure location was a big um, criteria for me. Um, I'm really big on HBCUs, so I made sure that it was full of HBCUs and yeah. Did you, and it, did you oh, also? <laughs> also the tuition. I made sure that the tuition was in my range. I made sure they were able to accept the Chief Atlanta scholarship. So yeah, those are big factors. Yeah, and then you also looked at whether or not your SAT score and your GPA right. were a good fit too, right? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you and have you share your story about this is you had a unique uh, situation with your best fit list. So yes, I did. <laughs> how many how many schools did you have on your best fit list when you when you made it? I had seven schools on my best fit list. Yep. And then how many did you actually end up applying for? I ended up applying for about twenty schools. Why why did that happen? Tell us why. Um, so basically, when they told us that we didn't we had few waivers for each school or every school that we applied for, I just applied for every HBCU there is out there. I just went crazy. <laughs> yep. And so like once you heard back from those 20 schools and we were talking about like what school was the best fit, like which one you really wanted to choose, mm -hmm. um, were any of the schools you were really truly looking at those random schools or were they all the schools that you had had on your best fit list? The schools that I were truly looking at were all, it all took me back to the best fit list. So it was like, why did I just apply for all of those schools? That was so pointless. <laughs> it was that's okay. Crazy. That's why we, that's why we make best fit lists. That's a great right. example. Um, okay. So last note, note for people that are making their best fit list, what would you say to people that are starting this process right now? What would they want to keep in mind? I would say to make sure that the schools on your best fit list have what you want, offers what you want, what you're looking for in a school. I would say stick to that list. Please stick to that list because it's easy to get thrown off track. And I would just say, go for it. Just go for the school that you want. Thanks, Kanaya. You're welcome. <laughs>